I could have viewers or show this little thing here in great detail. A little black plastic thing under there. That's about click and clunk. That's what this job was, click and clunk, because like a little break in there. It takes a bit of force to get this to un unstick. It's like a little parking brake, mechanical interlock inside this thing. When the head parks, this thing pops out and sticks to the magnet and locks it in place. Interesting little device. And that's what made that clunk in this drive when I always used it. This was a click and clunk, and that's this little bit in there that does it. Put a platters out. If you don't have this screw in, these heads won't be straight and they'll squeal. Same effect with the rest of the digital drives. They have a bolt that goes in there to secure the head stack properly. But then, despite the crappy friendly runner clicking and the clunking on the time for that little parking thing down there, which was a good drive while it lasted. But, uh, the 4 terabyte Seagate I got to replace this one originally in my other machine is actually a much 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 better drive M much much improved drive uh, so get this head stack has to be moved I've got to get this little magnet off to get this heads out of the way so I can get these discs out got a bit of plastic on there part of the parking mechanism here's how this little plastic thing works that noise that's what that clunk was. If you ever own or use these drives, you hear a nice clunk come from them every now again. That's this, this little plastic bit. That was a bit, so to speak, coming from a computer. That was this thing. Because I originally thought this drive was, uh, had a click of death or was starting to fail. When I first bought this, so I did some checks, rung the um, person I brought it up from. And the shop was saying, the clicking and the clunking is natural with these drives. I can see why, it's this little thing here, as it parks the head. It's quite annoying, that thing clicking and clacking. You get the, I originally got the impression this hard job was failing, but it was this the whole time. Just you want to stop the head from moving though. So there's two bits of metal inside there that hit the magnet and it's attracted to it. It's magnetically holding that in place. Interesting way to do it. Should be able to pull that off. That's it. Just lift off. Yeah, it does. Not easy though. There we are. A little bit of metal under there. Little tiny bits of metal. Let's pull that in. Hmm. That's out of the way now. RV B49. Let's compare it with the rest of digital one. One turbo rest of digital one. Hmm. Rest and digital one's a lot heavier made than the Seagate one. This has got a lot of polishing on it too. This has just got the machining milling marks on it. Put the metal in the inside holding the warnings together. It's got plastic holding the warnings together. The less warnings on this one than there is on this one. Anyway, that should lift off. There's an Allen key to go inside that. And this thing screws off with an Allen key. Can't get it off yet. But that comes off enough for me to get the discs out without having to move the head stack. Um, same as the rest and digital. This has got aluminium spaces too, like the um, rest and digital um, one I pulled apart. This one's painted black. The 500 gigabyte Seagate one I pulled apart. They had plastic ones of these. Interesting. Yeah, they're just so they're just in between the discs to um because it has and then specific airflow between the heads and the disc. Especially as drives get bigger, so they're there to divert the airflow in a special way. Let's power it up. Let's power it up. Wow, quiet motor. Huh? 
Yeah, it stops straight away. Too much pressure on it. Not much torque on that. Stays spinning, so that's promising I can make this into another massager. Alright. <laughs> oh, there we go. Make it click. Yeah, it must have read here, sort of the disc, but it can't, but there's no discs there to read. Find a data link inside this. I think you can see in a right. You can sort of see in a camera. There's this little ring here. That there is where the heads park and make that sound. The heads do not stick to that bit. The heads cannot stick to that at all. They just don't stick. But here, they would. You put this oh, against another disc without the washer. Put these two discs together without the washer in between. You won't get them apart. The so precise surface of that, but that you cannot physically feel a bump in that. It's a very ever so slight dip in the material in that for the heads to rest on, but without hitting. So it's amazing how to do it. Yeah, Russian digital is at least another half one of these thicker. So there's a thinner platters all up. So I would say that we cut, uh, cut various chunks out, maybe a quarter out of this one. Cut a bit half or so out, out of the whole lot of platters. And put it back together. I won't worry about these, leave those out. But these are just there to um, divert airflow in a specific way, that's all these are for. Now I put this bolt back in the head stack assembly. It's important you put this screw in, otherwise it will squeal and, scrap, and scratch the heads up. Mm -hmm. I love that sound. The four terabyte one makes the same sound as this two. Wow. Just can't get a reading. I wonder why. And there's a head on its side. One square millimetre, a small head. But it keeps right on the spin. Oh yeah, that would have hurt. Oh, it started backwards. I'll try it the other way just to be sure. That's a fair bit of air for 5400 RPM. I can make up, a, make up a really good. If I get a computer fan and stick the hub part over the hard drive hub, the fits on there can make this a good high speed fan. But it might blow the um, blades off. That's quite fast. But we shouldn't, but it's only a 5400 RPM drive. Ooh. So I can't make it stop working by uh there we go. the firmware is not smart enough to turn off the if I did this with the rest of digital for example it would turn off. The Seagate's not so this will make a good massage and it will keep running. Quite a bit of talk on that. That should be enough to get the head unstuck, but it isn't. If the head gets stuck in a pretty situation, that's not enough talk. Now it's given up. Let's put it this way, yeah? No. Might go backwards. Hmm. Yeah, hey, well, it's quite tolerant. Yeah. Just to be a good candidate for a massager. <laughs> No, it stops, it just keeps on running.
Uh, let's see here. Just grind some heads here and then the sliders down. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Next up, massage your time. <laughs> Thanks for watching.